ay sa room ko. And ngayon ang topic natin is pag-uusapan natin ang anxiety disorder. So let's get it into the vlog. Um, it's all about anxiety because um, dahil uh, marami na makakalanas nito ng ganitong sitwasyon sa ngayon. Ang factors na nakaka-affect ng merong disease na ganito ay First, having a trauma. Wherein in this factor, some, some people experience a traumatic event that also develop disorders like this. Number two, having stress. In this factor, having an health issue and big event can cause significant worry in our life. Number three, having personal, personality. In this factor, certain types of personalities are more prone to anxiety. So, number four is having blood relatives with anxiety. In this factor, having anxiety disorder can be hereditary. So, how does it affect it? So, and how can we do about it? It does affect the self when, because people some who are struggling with this disorder can often find themselves and of having a low self-esteem and they may have a poor confidence. In this case, what can we do is practice regular, regular relaxation such as such as mindfulness meditation, progressive muscle relaxation, and etc. In this way, we can reduce the anxiety symptoms and increase the feeling of relaxation. So, for having bawas na mga taong may fear, so may mga taong hindi marunong mag-express sa kanila, hindi um, hindi nila na-express yung sarili nila kasi may parang tumipigil sa ganila. So, ganito yung anxiety. Kaya, yung mga ta kaya yung mga tao ngayon ay wala silang confidence sa sarili. So, what, um, halimbawa, um, yung mga ta halimbawa ulit, ay may mga taong um, hindi makapag uh, salita because of yung parang bumubulong sa kanila na i-stop nila ito huwag yun ang ga gawin parang parang you know, parang may bumubulong sa may konsensya nila na tama na pagod na ako, ganun at saka, yung mga tao kasi ngayon ay hindi sila expressive yung mga ibang tao ay hindi expressive sa kanilang nararamdaman so what are the problems of the people who are having anxiety disorders? How can we solve it? Paano natin ma-resolve The common problems of people who are having this kind of disorder were, wherein they are feeling of nervousness, kinakabahan, feeling of rap breathing rapidly, yung sweating, yung malabis na pag susweat, and trembling, feeling weak or tired. We can prevent it by making them feel comfortable when we are conversing with them. And offer the, with them with the open heart and mind. In that simple way, we can help those people who are experiencing this kind of disorder. So, this advocacy is to, is to help people get through anxiety disorder. And by this video, Mare-remind din din yung mga tao na mahirap magkasakit ng anxiety compared sa mga other mental disorders. So, what can we do sa mga taong ganito? Number one, magbigay tayo ng lack of attention, makinig tayo sa kanila. Huwag natin silang hayaang manahimik sa tabi. Dapat hayaan nilang i-express yung sa kanilang sarili. Kasi, kapag yung nasobrahan yung anxiety, guys, pwede siyang makakos ng, you know, pwede siyang makakos mapunta sa depression or 
pwede siyang cause ng death din sa mga tao. So, sa mga tao dyan na nahihirapan sa ganitong sitwasyon, huwag niyong ramdamin. Yun lang yung last na ipapayo ko sa inyo. So, anxiety, yung daanan natin ng ang anxiety ay hindi maganda sa atin yan. So, let's be happy, let's give, let's let's be confident, and let's be um, you know, let's be expressive on ourselves. So, guys, so this is this is the end of my vlog. So, um, dapat tandaan natin na lagi tayong positive para makaiwas sa anxiety. And then, kailangan dapat laging nakangiti para fresh. Para fresh na the end. Yeah, thank you so much for watching my YouTube to my YouTube channel. So, please like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell for more updates.